we're going out to fight for it, to compete for it. Nobody gives you anything in this world. The people can give you money, can give you wealth, can give you fame. The one thing nobody in this world can give you, men, is respect. Now let's go south to the 1939 Sugar Bowl tilt. To see TCU's All-America passing star, Davey O'Brien. That's our boy right there. issue is the conversation of three, five, and six. Five days ago, you told me the TCU is the number three team in the country, and I understand we looked at them and their body work at that moment. They've gone from three to six. And they now, I agree. Yeah. 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 And, and they go in, Trayvon Boykin has his best game. Their defense scored another touchdown. They did nothing in this weekend to say that they weren't the third best team in the country. And somebody flipped enough, enough votes in 12, 11, 12 people Flip to take a team from three to six. I don't Greetings from Miami, Florida, and Happy New Year. Welcome to the Orange Bowl and the college football playoff. Tonight, a pair of 12 and 1 teams match up here in Miami Gardens, Florida, home of Hard Rock Stadium, which will host Georgia and Michigan this evening. Fans tonight will watch the first meeting between these two mammoth football programs in 56 years. And the cherry on top is the winner, earns a spot in the national championship game. In Indianapolis, Indiana on January 10th, college football's big prize. 34 to 11, our final score of Georgia over Michigan tonight here in Miami. Since last year, and I'm um, just very excited to finally have that chance to go play. McCarthy under pressure, back shoulder throw, caught. Cornelius Johnson breaking it, still on his feet. Cornelius Johnson spreading. Touchdown, Michigan, 69 yards. To throw it. 
McCarthy looking, throws deep, got a wide open receiver. Cornelius Johnson sprinting, touchdown Michigan. Play action, J.J. McCarthy lobs it wide open, caught at the 10, 5, touchdown Colston Loveland. Do you feel like you guys should be in the playoff? I don't, I don't even know right now. I'm, you know, I think if we got in, we would give, you know, one heck of a fight. Uh, I mean, for sure I do. I mean, I think, look, we went through the Big 12, 12-0. Uh, and 0. You know, we've been able to figure out ways to win games like this all year, and, you know, today we weren't able to do it. And so I think, you know, I, I think we're certainly deserving. I, I think the league is one of the best leagues in, in the country to go through undefeated in the league. Um, certainly we ought, to, we ought to get in. I don't think we should be punished for coming to the Big 12 championship game. You know, I don't think that, it, that that's what this, the way this stuff is designed to you know, the conference championship games, I don't think are designed to punish teams and prevent them from getting in the playoffs. So, you know, we were three last week. My hope is that we would stay at three and, you know, go tee it up and see how we do. While on the other hand, uh, yeah, here, here we're looking at, at at our team and uh, going down to Texas, uh, they're playing at Texas and then Baylor. So I just don't think TCU can get through that. And even if somehow TCU gets through that, uh, they'll still have to play somebody, one of those in, in the Big 12 championship game. I think their path is very difficult. Uh, Ohio State, Ohio State or someone else sitting at number three. Let's have a look at the third ranked team. College football playoff field is set. The regular season is complete. Conference champs have been crowned, and we now have the top four teams in the nation. Georgia, Michigan, TCU, and Ohio State are officially in the playoff field. In our next semifinal matchup, number two, Michigan, and number three, TCU, will face off in the Fiesta Bowl at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona on New Year's Eve. Michigan came in at number two as the only other undefeated team in the field. The Wolverines finished 13-0 for the first time in program history after a 43-22 win over Purdue in the Big Ten title game. This will be their second CFP appearance after falling to Georgia in the semifinals last season. The Horned Frogs are in the CFP field for the first time despite dropping the Big 12 title game in overtime to Kansas State. Max Duggan will get his shot in the Fiesta Bowl. Winners of the two semifinal games will face off for the national title on Monday, January 9th in Inglewood, California. That game will be at 7.30 Eastern on ESPN. So where were we? The playoff. Oh, yes. Only a handful of teams remained, hailing from kingdoms far and wide across the college football land, all vying for a spot in the playoffs. Each team led by a great coach, fearless players, and defended by the loyalist of fans. Soon, they would take part in an epic playoff battle for the right to call themselves national champions. And to the victor go the spoils, a beautiful trophy, a grand celebration, and bragging rights that stand the test of time. And then what happened? <laughs> we'll find out soon.